Hi, this is James C2 again. Welcome back to our latest tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering the creation of marketing lists. During the video, I'm going to discuss the use of static and dynamic lists and what the differences between the two are. We'll also cover the fact that a list can comprise a list of accounts, a list of contacts or a list of leads. And I'll also show you how to create a campaign and a quick campaign directly from your new list. Okay, marketing lists are found in the marketing area of CRM. So we navigate to the marketing, find the title for that, and then go to lists. And as ever with CRM, a new record is created by clicking the new button. So the first thing we have to do when we're creating our list is to give it a name. Now I'm going to call this one a demo static list. Okay, now. The list type can be static or dynamic, and you change the value by clicking. I want this to be a static list. Now, the difference between a static list and a dynamic list is that a static list, once the members have been set on it, cannot be changed unless a user goes in and manually adds and removes members. If you have set up a dynamic list, members will be updated and removed dynamically. Now, what, we, what I mean by that, and I will demonstrate this later, is that say we, if we'd set up dynamic list of contacts or leads in the Washington area, if a new lead is created who comes from Washington, they will automatically be added to the list. If an existing list member moves location, say they move from Seattle across to Florida, they will automatically be removed from the list. Okay, now I will demonstrate dynamic lists later in the video, so you'll get a better idea of what I mean when we see that bit. Now the purpose of the list, this is for internal use only, and it's just to give you a little idea of what the list is going to be used for. Now I'm going to set up one called the Happy Easter message. Okay, now you then have to decide who do I want to target this at. Is this going to be a list of accounts, i.e. organizations you do business with, a list of contacts, in most cases that will be customers, or is it leads, which are prospective customers? In this case, I'm going to set it up on leads. You can log the source if you wish, you don't have to. You can list the cost if you wish, you don't have to, and you can give it a description if you want. I'm just going to quickly type in there, description goes here to give you an idea of what you do. Okay, so we've set up our list. We have our basic details here. So the first thing we have to do is save the list. Until you've saved the list, you cannot add members to it. Now what you'll notice once that's saved is the members area becomes available. And we can see at the moment there are no members of our list. There are no leads attached to this list. To add some, we click the plus icon and it will give us a few options. Do we want to add members using a lookup? Do we want to add members using the advanced find? Do we want to remove users using the advanced find? Or do we want to evaluate using the advanced find? Now, obviously, in this example, we can't remove or evaluate anyone because there's no one on the list. So what I'm going to do first is add using a lookup and demonstrate that. So we'll click on add using lookup, hit continue, and what this will do is it will look up to all the leads who are in your system. And you can go through and manually choose who you want to add. So I'm going to add Counts Vong, Ivan Komashinke, and Maria Campbell. So I highlight those records and hit select. I then hit add and all three of those members appear on the list. Now I'm going to quickly remove those members just to demonstrate how to do that using an advanced find as well. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to add members to my list using the advanced find. So I'm going to select add using advanced find, hit continue and the advanced find page will open. So we're looking for leads. As I said earlier, I want to look at all members who are in Washington. So I'm going to look up state province field. I want that to equal WA. We hit find 
and there we can see that there are two leads who are based in the Washington area and we have two choices here. I can either add only the select members to the marketing list, I'm going to select people by clicking here, or add all the members returned by the search to the marketing list. Now in this example there are only two. If, for example, your marketing list comprised three or four hundred people, you just click add all the members returned and it will add them quickly. So I want to add them to my marketing list. And there we go, there are Ivan and Deborah added to my list. So I'll quickly save that to ensure everything's done. And that's complete. So that's the creation of a static list. What I'm going to do now is demonstrate a dynamic list to you. So I'm going to click New. This time I'm going to call this Demo Dynamic List. This time we want the list to be dynamic. The purpose, again, that will be Happy Easter Message. This time I want to also add it to Leads. Don't have a cost, not last used on. Description, I'll just quickly type description here. Now again, remember, members is blank because we haven't saved the record yet. So I'm going to save my marketing list. Manage the members. So I hit plus here. And because this is a dynamic list, we don't get the option to add members using a lookup. Because it's a dynamic list, we have to enter filter criteria. And obviously, that has to be done through an advanced find. So this time, I'm going to add, again, the same filter criteria. I want the state province to equal Washington. To find everybody, I'll add them all. Use query. Now, obviously, we've used the same criteria for both of these marketing lists. Okay, so if I go to my list of marketing lists, we'll see here that we have a static one and a dynamic one, both of which have the same two members on it. So what I'm going to do to demonstrate how the dynamic one works is I'm going to go to a lead and I'm going to change the address on it so that they now live in Washington. So if I go to my leads list, the one I'm looking for is Counts Vong. I'm going to change the address on this one. You notice at the moment they live in Topeka. I'm going to change that address so that this person or this lead is now based at Microsoft head office. Which you will all know is in Redmond, Washington. Give that a little save. And what we should find now, when we go back to our lists, let this refresh, is the static one should not have updated because that was a static list, the members are set. If we go to the dynamic list, we should see that now that lead is also included in the list. And there we go, there's Counts Vong. And that's how a dynamic list works. And just to demonstrate that the reverse is true as well, I'm going to remove, or not remove, I'm going to set that address back again what it was before so we don't kill our data so that's one two three four canyon road kansas and what we should find once i've saved the record is that when i go back to my dynamic marketing list that lead no longer resides in Washington, and there we go, they have disappeared. Okay, so that's the difference between a dynamic list and a static list. What you may have noticed, if you have a dynamic list, it can, if you wish, be copied to a static list. Now, the reverse is not true. You cannot copy a static list to become a dynamic one, but dynamic ones can be copied to static. And to show you how that's done, you just click on Copy to Static, it will ask, do you want to save the dynamic list as a static list? Yes. 
and what you'll see now is it does not remove the original so we do have a dynamic list and we have a static list so what this is and you may notice it adds the date and time so what this, this static list is is basically a snapshot at a certain date and time 11.38 am on the 21st of January that's a snapshot of what that list looked like at that point so it can be used for that as well Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to create a quick campaign and a campaign from your lists. So I'm going to go to my static list and you'll notice on the right hand side we have two options here. We have campaigns and quick campaigns. So these are any campaigns or any quick campaigns that this list has been involved in. I'm going to start off by creating a quick campaign and you'll see the create a quick campaign wizard appears. You simply click next, we'll give it a name, so I'm going to call that the Happy Easter message. I want that to be a phone call. And the people I want to make the calls are the owners of the records. I don't want me to, to make all these calls, so I'm going to make it the owners of the records that are included in the quick campaign. You could, if you wish, assign it to another user or team. So you could perhaps assign it to your sales team or your customer service team, assign it to them, and they will receive this in their task list. So I'm going to click next. What is the subject? Wish all prospect customers a happy Easter. next there we go create and there is a quick campaign associated with this static list done already okay so that's how to create a quick campaign from your list the last thing we're going to cover is how to create a campaign from lists I'm going to do it from the dynamic list just to be different so go in here this time again we hit plus the campaigns we're going to create a new campaign related to this list so we click the plus icon you can relate it to an existing campaign if you wish which is what I'm going to do here I want to add that to the event campaign template I want to add it to the campaign hit add and there it is this list is now used in this campaign Okay, so to recap, in this video we have covered what you need to do on marketing lists. We've discussed static or dynamic lists. We've shown that it can comprise a list of accounts, contacts or leads. And we've created a campaign and a quick campaign directly from our lists. That concludes this tutorial. If you want any other information from C2, simply click on the, the box that appears below. If you enjoyed our video, give it a quick hands up. If there's anything else we can help you with, follow us on Twitter, contact us on Facebook, and we'll be more than happy to help. Thanks for listening.